Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you today my IKEA Roska cart. I store a lot, mostly all, of my project life items in this cart. I find it really handy um, and I feel that it really helps me with my creativity because I'm able to organize all my items that I need when I'm decorating my journaling cards or my photos and I'm not hunting for things because it's all in one spot. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go through each shelving to show you how I store my items. The thing about Project Life is when you do decorate your photos and your journaling cards, you end up with a lot of embellishments to, you know, to pretty up your photos and your pages. So um, it's always a challenge, I feel, to be able to store it in a very efficient way. And I'm going to share with you what I do to try to keep the chaos, um, you know, in a confined space and I'm able to find everything that I'm looking for. Now these carts, I believe, come in two colors, the teal and a gray. And I chose the teal because I really love the color. It sort of reminds me of the Tiffany boxes that you get when you buy the jewelry. And I really, really think it's such a pretty color and it, I think it goes well with my craft room. These carts are metal and um, they do have the rollers underneath so you're able to take them with you when you are say you want to store in a different room you can move these I tend to keep this in my craft room but because I feel that my craft room is a smaller size room uh, I'm I it's handy because I'm able to take it to my desk when I need it and then when I'm done with it I We'll move it along a wall that it's out of the way uh, so it doesn't block the much needed space that I have in this room. So let me go through each shelf and show you exactly how I store my items. So on the first shelf I have two containers in here. The first container is a Organize It Clear well, that's sort of hazy, but it's still somewhat clear uh, storage container that I got from the container store. The second one is a clear container for that you use for uh, hanging files. And I got this too at the dollar store. I mean, at the container store. And I they fit perfectly in this space. Um, and I'm able to also still store um, more of these alpha letters in here in between the two containers. What I love about this, oh actually it's not called an organizer, it's called a Like It container. But what I love about this Like It container is it has these different compartments and uh, I really think it's really handy. One thing uh, with Project Life, the way I do, do my decorating is it I do decorate with a lot of embellishments. And I also get the monthly kits from Studio Calico and they tend to come with little embellishments, um, little acetate decorations. And sometimes if I don't see it, I don't use it. So to have these little sections here to store all my embellishments, it just helps me, it helps remind me that I have these items and I can use them for my layout. For example, this container here, I believe that this was meant for batteries, but I'm able to store these different sentiments and I'm able to see it quite clear. I'm able to see it quite clearly. So I really, really love that. And then also, you know, any bigger items. I'm able to just flip through it. I also keep a clear stamp block with this, one of my favorite camera stamps. So I use that often and I just leave it there. And this also is a, I think this is 
meant to store tape, but I use it to store little things that I feel I need. And there's also this section here that's like a box, and I just keep other items that I get from Studio Calico that I have not used yet. And then in the back, you can um, divide these sections here with this divider. And how I've chosen to divide it is I've taken a section for the 4x6 cards. And I only store the most current items in here. And then because I don't get very many 4x6 cards in my kit, I do take um, other embellishments that I've received that I think I want to use in my layouts. And I just store it in front so I see it. And then I store the 3x4 cards here. And once, you know, I think I probably store about two months worth and then I move it into um, the other place I store my journaling cards for Project Life. Um, I also have stickers in this section. And then behind that, um, I have the alpha stickers that I get in my Project Life kit. And I love that. And um, this is a stamp that I got from the Kelly Perky uh, monthly Project Life kit, or I think it's semi-monthly, I'm not sure. Um, but I store that there. And any of my Studio Calico stamps, I will store it in this extra large CD case. And what I've done is I've actually glued the acetate um, backing that you get when you get the stamps. And I glued it with this here, the um, glossy accents, because you can't see the glue. Um, but that enables me to see what stamps I have. Um, but I'm still able to take the stamps off and use it when I need it. And that fits nicely just behind here. And like I said, again, I have a theme that I need to be able to see it. So that's why I have it there. Because if I see it, it may encourage me more to use it. And some bigger sticker items that I have received that I want to use in my layouts, I keep here. Again, uh, in between the two containers, I keep these alpha stickers that I have all different colors and, and this is something that I got from a supplier. Um, I'm hoping one day, it just hasn't worked out for me yet, but I'm hoping one day to be able to have an online um, store that you guys can get some items that you haven't, that I show you that are not um, available in the United States. So um, I've actually given some of these as racks to people to, to try. But I have that there so I'm so that I remember to use it. And then in the second container, this is the clear uh, filing, hanging filing container that you get at, at different places like Staples, but I got this one at the container store. I store some of my 6x6 six six paper packs that I sometimes use as um, for Project Life. And it's in there quite like it's in there because I've got quite a few. I think I have three or four in there. And also I take this here and this is, um, I actually, it's recycled. It's the s container that I got when I purchased my mini iPad mini cover and it's nice and thin and uh, it fits my flares really well. And then I just, it's just secured with this acetate sheet. But I like it because, um, see, it's just this box here. But I like it because it um, keeps my flares nice and it's very visible for me to see all my flares that I do use. And it fits nicely in there. I also keep 
my ATG gun and I love using this for Project Life because it's an endless supply of adhesive and I use it to, you know, glue down my photos, my paper, my embellishment. Let me just stand up here to show you the back. Back, bigger paper packs and some cardboard embellishments that I have. And then, let me turn this around and show you the side here. I have my glossy accent glue and I use this to glue on my wooden veneers. And I have these three by four um, self-sealing bags that I use for flip flaps for Project Life. And behind here, I have just more extra long stickers, embellishments, cardstocks. But as you see, it's a nice, handy storage unit because it keeps everything together. And then along the outside of my shelf, I have these metallic or sorry, magnetic dots that I got from the container store. And these suckers are strong. And I like them because I'm able just to put my scissors on there. So when I'm crafting and I finish cutting, instead of just placing it on my desk, I just go like this and it's there. And so I'm not hunting for scissors or tools because I know exactly where they'll be. And it just helps, I think, with the creative flow. It's... Um, when you know where something is, you don't have to stop to hunt for it. So if you've got an idea, you can just continue on with it because you know if you need something, you know where it is. So now I'll go show you this second shelving on my cart. Let me move these scissors so you can see it a little bit better. So in the second section, if you notice, the space between the first and second is a little small. And I did this on purpose because um, I moved this second shelf up a bit so that I have room to store these big storage containers underneath. And I really love it. I find it to be very handy. And I don't need much space for the items that I do store on the second shelf because they're usually very thin, itsy bitsy items that I can just pull out very easily and it's not too much of a problem. So I store my thickers that I absolutely love and I think that they're very essential to project life. And I love thickers because they come in different fonts and colors and style and they just, I think that they add quite a bit to your pages. And I store them on the side and I'm able to just flip through them very easily. So I love that. And then I have a container I got from either TJ Maxx, Ross, or Marshalls, just one of those places. I may have even gotten this from Michael's actually. And they're just uh, little storage units that have, that are divided. And I'm able to put little knick-knack items. So in some of the sections I do have these stamps roller date stamps and sentiment stamps and I love this I got this in my project life kit the latest or the last one and at first I didn't think I'd like it but I actually do love it I'm able to use uh, to stamp out the dates like for the week so I really like that a lot and it's um, made by pebbles I believe and then I've got some tape I've got um, this ink pad from my latest Studio Calico kit. I haven't gotten my current months, but I think that came from last month or um, two months ago. And I just have little items. Like if I am working on something and I just want to get it off my desk and the little trinket stuff, I do put it in here. Like for example, I do have this poppy because um, I want to use it for uh, Remembrance Day or Memorial Day and so I'll leave it in there because I know that where to find it and then I have these clear photo containers this one here comes from Michaels and these three here come from Daiso so in this one here this one's Daiso um, I store uh, these little bling sheets and also the enamel dots in here 
So if I'm looking for it, I know exactly where to find it. And um, I also have, I also have two containers of the cardboard or cardstock embellishments. And I think the last one here is more, um, those are cardstock embellishments. But this one here is foam hearts and cardboard stars and cardboard butterflies that I have. So what I love about this container is that it stores everything I need. There's so much versatility to it and you can organize it in any way you want. Okay, my third shelf, like I said, I moved the second shelf up so that I have room to store these multi-level um, snap it storage containers but I have this foot and a half long pencil case that I got a couple of months ago in September um, during the back to school sales and I store a lot of my extra long here let me bring this down so you can see I store a lot of my extra long stickers that I may use for embellishment so here's some Kelly, I'm uh, sorry, Heidi Swap stickers, um, just floral embellishment stickers, just anything that I think I may use, but it's really long and um, smaller items, smaller embellishment stickers. I don't store any alphas in here, but just more decorative, extra long sticker packs in this section. <clears throat> And then I have these Snap It containers. One I got from Ross and one I got from my local dollar store. And I'm sure you guys have seen this if you follow my video. But in here, um, I store my wooden embellishments. I love it. I love clear containers. I love to be able to see what's in the container. I think it looks very pretty and it's very handy to be able to know exactly what is in the containers without having to really pull it out and lift a lid to take a look at. And then here I have my washi tape and I'm not going to open it because it's very heavy. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm starting to get a collection of it. Thanks, thanks to Nadine, my YTS, she gave me a lot of washi. I didn't have very many in the beginning, and she gave me a collection, and now I think I'm hooked. So <laughs> I've got quite a bit. But what's great about these are that you can add more levels to it. And because I have a lot of room still, <clears throat> I'm able to add more um, sections if I really needed to, and I, I'm able to... Um, still store it in this container and on the side here I have just some journaling cards that I got from my friend Tina. Hi Tina thank you so much I love these and uh, I also got this here which I got from Daiso and it was supposed to be used for a, a Thai storage, traveling storage but I thought it would be great for storing washi tape. And I can put this in my purse and go if I decide that I need washi, if I'm decorating my day planner. But I also like to store it in there because I do use that washi for project life. So it's handy just to keep in there. And I know where it is, so if I need to go, I can just pull this out and put it in my purse. But as you see, um, I love this cart. It holds lots of items and uh, it's really been great for decorating. It's been great because I know where everything is. Well, I hope you enjoyed my tour of my cart. I will link below uh, where you can purchase this on the IKEA website. And uh, I believe it comes in gray and teal. And I'll just add some photos here at the end 
to show you, I'll lay it on my desk, uh, to show you exactly what is stored um, on each shelf. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you.